Hello, I've finished this little journal. So we're gonna have a flip through. It's got a little bit tatty on the outside. Uh, sometimes it's best to decorate it after you've finished. But um, I quite like this paper, so I'm going to leave it as it is. This is the first thing I did in it as one of my art journal prompts, which are now coming out once a month, first, month, uh, first Saturday of every month. That was one as well. Like this little fighting hairs. This one was a difficult one about people influencing you. This is just one I used um, a mask. I think that was um, an art journal prompt. A lot of these are art journal prompts. Some art there. I was just enjoying the page. Some of these were trying out new stencils that I'd made. I love this mask. This was, um, that was an art journal prompt. That was me just finishing off this page. I liked this figure. This is me trying out these stencils. All oh, these masks. Uh, that's a stencil, the letters. Um, I think that was an art journal prompt. Yes, it was, because I remember having to use a bird. And I'll just put that to match it. This was one as well. I love this one. Rainy yearning. Lovely words. This was, oh, this was, a, this was a quote from a book I was listening to. Um, yes, I remember that. And then I made that page to match. This is the hair. This is another art journal prompt. I think this was last month. And that was a journal prompt as well. I think that was as well. I've just filled this up. I just turned this into a pocket, popped an ATC in. It's one of my goddesses. That's actually on the watercolor. So it's an original. This one says, find your voice. It's just a simple little um, bit of junk journaling, really. This was an art journal prompt, I do believe. I use the word, the power of mindfulness. I'm not sure about this page. It's a bit lost. It's a bit too indistinct. This is just an just a bit of junk journaling, think outside the box. This was an art journal prompt. I did have an ATC in there, but I've lost it. Um, this is Harvest Moon, and it's the season of mists and mellow fruitfulness, and it's all these lovely pears. Um, this was an art journal prompt, way of life, it says, and yeah, the words are on there. And then I made this page to match. That was me trying out one of my stencils, one of my face stencils. And then I put a butterfly there. All these colours sort of go together quite well, I think. And it says, it's our challenges and obstacles that give us layers of depth and makes us and make us interesting. I like that. That, I think, I'm not quite sure if that was an art journal prompt or not. I don't think it was. Uh, in order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. I agree with that. That's by Coco Chanel. This was an art journal prompt. Or was it? I can't remember. One of my stencils, I call him Clown Boy. Love this one. I have, this is one of those dribbly pages. I think there is a video on the making of this. I'm not sure if that was a prompt. Maybe not. Some of them aren't, you see. Some of them just popped in. That was, I remember that. And then there's this page. This isn't a prompt, it's just one I did. The quote going around in a spiral. I love my spirals. And I love this figure. This was a prompt, I'm sure. Or was it? I can't remember now. Probably not, actually. It's the fish face lady. I love that one. I think that's one of my favourite, one of my favourite ones, actually. This just has an ATC in it. I made mods and ends. Again, this is just odds and ends. And I've got a little pocket there and I've put that little tag in that I made for my time book, which I made several of, so I've got spares. This is a nice reminder to take time to breathe. This is just odds and ends that I put together. I think I was, that was the old jelly prints I was using there. And I put a little bit over there and then I went over again with a stencil after putting the face on. And I haven't used any words with that. You don't always have to use words. Sometimes the visual does enough. And this was, oh, this was the challenge I did with Elaine for the 49 Dragonflies 5 
collage pieces challenge which is good fun and that's the end that's the last page so that's it finished another journal so um i made this one to replace it i fancied a different format long and thin but when you open it out that's more or less a square but not quite i've also received as a gift from a friend of mine for my birthday um one of these rangers books it's got a lovely little pocket in there and it's got this good paper nice quality paper so this is going to be quite i'm, I'm deciding this is going to be very mixed media it's going to have a lot of painting in a lot of jelly printing in it's going to be good fun i've got what i'm going to do is i'm going to do some preparation before i start i'm going to go in and do some gessoing I don't know how that works because that's sort of stuck to that. So yes, I'm going to go in and do some gesturing. I'm wondering whether to take some pages out so that it doesn't get over full. And I can keep little bits of collage bits in, in this pocket, can't I? Close it there. Isn't that lovely? Love it. And then this folds over like that and that closes it. So yes, that, these are my next art journals to be happening. There's that one. Thanks for watching. Bye.